So what's happening to the markets? What if your long term will long term investing still work? Will you still make money given this kind of market? If you are investing in mutual funds, you are investing in index funds, you are investing for the long term. You should watch this video because the fate of how your money will grow over the long term is what we will discuss. So if you are investing in index funds, check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, smash that bell so you get updated every time I create new content about the stock market because I want you to win. I want you to use the stock market for you to reach your goals and financial freedom. So enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, good morning from BGC. I'm still going to I'm gonna be here for the next one or two days before I fly out to Cebu and Last night, I did a Q&A session. As I was doing that Q&A session, I got a couple of questions that were also interesting. Some of them I was able to answer. Then there were new questions that popped up. So by the way, if you have any questions, just comment them below and I'll try to make another video off of that. So, because I'm, I'm thinking of ways on how I could educate you and thinking of ways of what are the things that you would need to know. That's why I'm doing this Q&A series more and more and more and more. And one of the questions that I got yesterday was, what would be better for a 10-year horizon? Number one, investing in MP2, which gives you a fixed interest. Or number two, investing in an index fund. So before I go into who will win, before I set the condition and parameters for that, let me discuss first for those who don't know how an index fund normally works. Basically, an index fund is a tracker fund. What does it mean? There's what we call the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. The Philippine Stock Exchange Index has 30 stocks recalibrated every six months. Meaning, from the 30 stocks or from the 200 plus stocks in the PSE, uh, the 200 plus stocks are ranked every six months. Those that do not make the cut, if you are 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, you do not make the index. So, what does that mean also? Every six months, the stocks that are there, if those that do not make the cut, they're out and they're replaced with another batch of stocks as well. So what you're seeing there is a dynamic set of stocks still that change. And for those who've watched the videos that I've, did, I've done before regarding index funds, is I, I mentioned this that for those who are super passive, for those who do not have the time to watch the markets, index funds will do well because number one, never will there come a time na may malulugi na stocks doon. Why? Because every six months, when I say malulugi, never mag-close down. Please remember, one of the biggest risks sa stock market is that the company that you buy uh, closes down. The company you're invested in goes to uh, shuts down their operations and files for bankruptcy. That's the risk and that's part of everything that you would go through when you're investing in the stock market. But the biggest advantage of going through index funds basically is this. Since it's ranked every six months, there's no chance that the company inside will close down because even before they close down, they're most likely out of the list already. So the, the fear of your stocks going down or getting to zero or getting bankrupt is impossible. Please also remember this. Unlike other investments that I've mentioned that are riskier from CFDs or anything that has margins, uh, stocks in general are generally safer because malabo na mag zero yun eh. there's a big chance that stocks won't go to zero because before it even goes to zero a lot of people will be selling and your your money can't go to zero because the company still has assets still that being said the question about this video is who will be better in terms of returns is it mp2 where it gives you a higher interest rate or just go the index fund route uh, the answer to that is quite simple number one is this Please remember, and for those who attended the Stock Smart Sessions comment below, I'm sure you know this, that when markets zoom up massively, it makes a very, 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 very large move up. There will come a point in time where it has to consolidate and it needs to breathe. Why am I saying this? And you can check the charts uh, while, while I'm doing this. From 2008, the market dropped to around 1,800. After dropping to 1,800, uh, the market zoomed up from 2008 to 2013 to 7,400. So from a five-year period, you're seeing the market move up from 1,800 to 7,400, which is about 300 plus percent, which is amazing. 
uh, it, un, it beat a lot of markets, it beat a lot of the BSEI from 2018 to 2013 was one of the hottest and fastest growing markets as well. You saw some stocks that were ridiculously cheap, Jollibee dropping to 35, Ayala Land to 5 pesos per share. A lot of the great companies because of the 2008 recession started to massively, 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 massively move up. So why, why am I saying this? Because of that move up though, uh, when markets will move up, it needs time to breathe and there will be an expectation that it will move sideways that the stock won't go or the market won't go anywhere. And that's what we're seeing. Please remember this. The market yesterday knows around 7.9, close to 8,000. is having even a hard time breaking out of the 8,100 level. For the past six years, from 2013 to where we are today, the market, the PSEI, has just moved sideways. Meaning, from 7,400, uh, in 2013, the highest that we've ever hit was near 9,000. After that, it even retraced lower. So why am I saying this? The biggest, uh, the biggest differentiator between long-term investors, those who just buy and just, just hold it and without any sell signal, uh, without any sell trigger, is if you buy, hold it for a first long, 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 long period of time, and then you do not trade. If the market continues to stay sideways and it does not break out, the, your arbitrage or the deficiency with that is this, you may not earn as much. I repeat, if the market stays sideways, meaning your goal is just capital appreciation, uh, there are a lot of people, their goal is capital appreciation. They buy with the expectation that it will go up. If your goal is capital appreciation and then the market goes sideways, guess what? If it goes nowhere over the next 10 years, your gains will not be so high or worst case it might be just break even i repeat that's why you see a lot of people who invested 2013 14 15 16 17, that they bought when the market was up when the market was in sideways also that they're not getting the yields that they want today so that's what i'm saying the expectation is if the market goes nowhere your sideways investment will also go nowhere and mp2 will be index funds however also please remember this uh there will come a point in time also where a lot of the market sentiment, a lot of the fear of, uh, please remember, one of the things that's keeping people from pumping in money in our markets is because there's a lot of risk off based on what's happening on the trade war. A lot of people are hesitant, a lot of people are scared as well. That's why markets don't go up. I, I mentioned this in a lot of the technical analysis videos that markets go up when people want to buy higher. When people want to buy higher, that's what causes the market to move up, push up, and go much, 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 much higher with that risk of sentiment you can't really expect the market to push up you can't really expect the market to go higher so why am i saying this if all of those fears start to dissipate if all of the uh or even if the valuations of the companies that we have start to improve especially the five stocks that have a large influence in the index BP, bdo sm sm prime ac ali with their valuations start to get cheaper where their growth prospects continue to be much much better that people have a higher anticipation that they will do better for the next few years then you can expect the markets to go up you can expect it to break out uh here's a disclaimer also though uh, indices they go down it's normal for indices to go down but if they go up or when they go up they always go much 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 higher than where they were before so why am i saying this it's it's probable that the index will go sideways for the next year especially if valuations still remain expensive or if growth isn't there but it's unlikely that it won't break out also because the characteristic of the index is it will always go much 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 higher than where it was before so my answer is this if the index though over the next five seven eight nine ten years breaks out from the resistances and it starts to go into an uptrend resistance at eight one uh, resistance at 9,000, if we break past that, you can expect the market to go higher and will form a new base. You can expect the market to push at a much, much larger scale. So, my answer is conditional. If a breakout happens, for sure, indices will be uh, the MP2 or whatever fixed income product that you will see there. Now, if it stays sideways, there could be a big shot, a big chance of MP2 beating the index funds that you have. Another way to look at it also, no, if you are investing in the stock market directly and not just getting index funds, is just buy stocks with a lot of dividends. Meaning, even if the entire broad market goes sideways, but the stocks that you have have dividends, then for sure, uh, and if your yield is good, if you buy it at a very, very low price, and then your dividend yield is higher, there's a big chance also that the appreciation from that, plus the dividends that you will get will be MP2 as well. So uh, if you're asking me to force track what's the cheapest type of way to track the index, 
the cheapest way is FMETF. I have a video on that. I'll try to put the link below. Then, next one is you can get the UITF, then the mutual fund, then uh, VUL. So, in that order, in terms of cost, in terms of what is cheaper as well. So, there. But please, uh, please analyze this also. Uh, I'd rather that you invest that it may not perform as well but at least you have an asset at least you have something that gives you the potential to make money but above something that gives you the potential to make money you know what's interesting about that is instead of Nagasso you have to remember the main narrative of Filipinos is they spend a lot of money on stuff that doesn't matter so the fact that you're spending a lot of time to invest even though it underperforms it will still beat you spending you have to understand this majority of the Filipino population loves to spend Filipinos love to buy stuff that they don't need Filipinos love to buy stuff that don't matter in the grand scheme of things so I'd rather that that you're asked that questions like this are asked because even if you make a mistake on investing even if it underperforms it will still beat the alternative what's the alternative spending stuff on things that you don't need spending stuff on things that won't make you get rich later on so my son, that's why i keep hammering this regardless if it's index funds regardless if it's starting your own business regardless if it's mp2 regardless if it's time deposit i'd rather that you start developing those assets because at the end of the day from time deposits to ldncds to etfs to imas all of those things they're all assets eh? I repeat, all of those things that we're mentioning, they are all assets and assets will give you the potential to make money for you, especially if you know how to time them, especially if you know how to pick and select and do well for them as well. So I hope I answered that question. If you have any other questions springing from this, comment below. If you're learning from this, comment stock smarts, guys. Comment stock smarts. I want to hear uh, more if this is something that's helping you. The reason why I create these daily videos is because I want to change the narrative that Filipinos deserve to be rich, that Filipinos can be rich, that you don't have to listen to the noise of what everyone is telling you. Ignore the noise. Do you. Do what makes you alive. Do the things that will make you win. Because at the end of the day, if you try to listen to everyone, you will end up like them and everyone is just average. You have to be like the one percent and the one percent they do the things that everyone else that this would not do and they end up having the things that everyone else does not have as well by the way for those who want to learn more about this my last four seminars for the year will be number one in Cebu this weekend number two in Singapore a week after that technical and fundamental analysis number three stock smarts Manila technical fundamentals the top 10 stocks for 2019 uh, 2020 and also lastly icon Davao investment conference Davao 2019 with a plethora of other speakers as well I'll put the links below I hope you guys can join us or if you have any friends that you believe will benefit from this uh, I hope you can share this video with them as well I'm also not just trying to create content but I hope it's shareable content that will add value to the to the broad majority of Filipinos not just in the Philippines but Filipinos everywhere because we want to see more and more Filipinos uh, take a hold grab a hold of whatever growth that's there so I guess that's it for now I hope this video pushes you not just you to help you win and it takes you closer to financial freedom so Marvin Germo from Bonifacio Global City. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.